How do you feel about the whole, in light of the whole Don Imus thing, you and Snoop being sort of the brunt of what's going on? The lyric, your lyrical content. Oh, you know, I really don't feel, you know, it's not really a tragedy to me that that's happening, you know what I mean? Like, I think for a moment that a, a lot of people forgot that our country's at war, and they'll, they'll point to, uh, to uh, usage of content and music like hip hop and say it's the problem, maybe it influences violence on some levels and not uh, point to the actual films that are released that have the similar content and has image and sound that is definitely more impressionable than just sound. And I just, I personally believe um, on uh, every level that it's easier to attack a individual than it is to go after a corporation you know, so they point to specific hip hop artists to go after, opposed to going after Paramount or Columbia Pictures. It's a tougher fight, man. They're corporate attorneys, they beast. You know what I mean? So I want you to follow up with with the choices. Why is it that we see so many artists choosing to emulate this piece and ignoring, in many cases, emulations of history that's been positive? First of all, crime is American, is apple pie. Mm -hmm. We stole this land. Yeah. Everything, the foundation of America is crime. So that imbues everything that happens in society. However, we look at the, uh, the thing of responsibility. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. If everything you read is about crime, and you believe everything you say should be about crime, then where is the dream? Where is the other reality presented? And that's the challenge that all of these artists and all in the black community have to come up with. We have to figure out where does it go from being an art that speaks the truth of someone's reality and a formula that's repeated just like Hollywood? When does these records become just another multi-million dollar Schwarzenegger epic? Brother Crouch, I want you to chime in here. Yeah, well, I mean, you're right, but I don't think that, but I, see, I don't, I, I don't think that, that, that everything in America is crime because first thing, black Americans changed many things in American law to the good. Right. But it, black but, but, people, but, but, wait, 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 but, wait, wait, but wait, 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 it was based on, but, wait, but you're not, no, what they had to change but was what was wrong. Because it wasn't finished, no, no you different can't, how it started. You can't leave right. out, you can't leave out the fact that black people have, on the public record, changed things that were bad. Now, what Nellie was saying is the issue. What does a guy choose to do? And the thing is this, again, we, we, have, we haven't addressed enough the fact that four out of five recordings, according to Russell Simmons, the godfather of, 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 of hip hop, uh, <laughs> are sold to white guys in the suburbs. Well, I mean, so wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait. So fundamentally, so fundamentally, <laughs> this is a product Excuse being me. produced for some white boys. Well, so is blues no. music. Blues music I mean, is being, wait, hold on. Blues music right now is being consumed primarily by white people. Yes. Does it mean that B.B. King has sold his soul and therefore to white suburbia? So that litmus test, I'm not denying the legitimacy of right. what either, uh, either of you have hey. said, but the question is, the litmus test for the authenticity of a particular artistic expression can never be the people who consume it. Exactly. It has to be the issue of what you intend and therefore what its impact is. Let me say the second All music is being bought by majority of white people. It's not just hip hop, it's not just blues, it's not R&B. We are 20% of a population. All right, right, I got that. But here's the problem with some of the, the gangster rap. I wrote a book on Tupac, who was a brilliant guy. Hold on, there, Scarface is one of the most, I think, underappreciated artists, the, 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 the rapper Scarface. It is Here's my point. You can talk about it with cleverness, insight, acuity, parody, you can have a distance from it. You can say, I used to do that. Look at the consequences of a guy like me who does this. If you listen to Jay-Z, he says, I'm not trying to celebrate this or blame anybody else. These are choices I made, but I'm trying, no, I don't want you to do this. Hove did that, so you wouldn't have to do that. My point is this, that's a difference than a guy who is mimicking, parroting, formulaic recitations of gangster life that you ain't never lived, and you ain't gonna never live, and you don't understand the difference. So when you think about the fact that the institution of crime, as Nelson George has said, is American, the Kennedys, when you think about the famous families, Rockefeller, when you think about the major capitalistic empire of American society, it's predicated upon deceit, thievery, mendacity, and ripping folk off. Hip hop at its best certainly will articulate something against that, but at its worst, it reflects the very pathology of American society. <laughs>
and being that you were around since the beginning of hip hop, how do you feel about the state of hip hop now? Well, I think, uh, you know, the recent controversy over lyrics and images is uh, a good debate to have. Uh, I think the young artists in hip hop need to hear that. And if women are upset with images, they need to speak up and not buy the music and, and talk directly to the artist. So, you know, I think it's a good dialogue going on. Uh, I regret that BET is sometimes the focal point of the argument because, you know, we play music that our uh, viewers uh, want to hear and see. And if they don't, they need to let us know that. And last, what was the point that BET was trying to make with doing the America versus Hip Hop debate on, on BET? Well, that came, uh, Hip Hop versus America came about as a result of the IMIS incident and his, his IMIS pointing the finger at rappers. And I talked to the record label heads and I said, you know, the best thing for us to do as a network uh, is provide a safe place for the artists to come and for the critics to come and have a conversation because they're not talking to each other. They're talking about each other. Uh, and so that's where the idea came from. And we did it, and it was a very successful news show. Uh, it got great ratings. People watched it. People talked about it online. And hopefully it will start a, 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 a long-term discussion. You spoke a little bit about the attack on hip-hop earlier. Um, I was appalled when I seen the Virginia Tech killing and they used your picture over the story talking about you popularize nine millimeter handguns. What is your yeah. feelings towards the media and their portrayal of I mean, hip hop at this time? Generally, the perception of me is a lot darker than I actually am. After people interact with me, they see that. You know, but I, uh, I think everybody has a right to an opinion. You know what I'm saying? On some levels, it's, it's negative, but they do actually have that right. And if I didn't take that standpoint mentally, I would probably be shaving my head like Britney. <laughs> <laughs> you feel